What is up guys, welcome back into the YouTube channel. Obviously, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this truck all over YouTube and stuff. Um, this was my truck, I owned it probably eight years ago. We did a cold start video, it's got like 180,000 views. Um, I had guys on one of the Facebook pages recognize the truck and stuff. But I'm just gonna make a quick, just short video here. Um, for you that are new, it's a 1986 GMC. It's the High Sierra 2500, and yes, it is the 6.2 liter Detroit diesel. And that's what this video is about. So I sold this truck, oh, probably six years ago um, to a guy, he ended up blowing it up. I'm not sure the extent of blowing it up, um, but a, a fan sent it to me. Um, he knew where the truck was. I ended up buying the truck back with the original motor, the original trans, a spare motor, and a bunch of spare parts. Um, the inside of the cab is filled with just um, all new gaskets, um, basically everything to kind of refresh the motor. But that is going to be the plans. I think here in the near future, I'm going to buy an engine stand, throw one of, well, hopefully the original motor on it, drain the oil, kind of go through everything and do a teardown video, see if there's any major issues. And then I'm probably going to end up taking it down to, his name's Terrence, he's actually the one that rebuilt the motor in the 98. We'll take it down to him, have him go through everything. I think we're going to do head studs, all new gaskets. Um, we might end up uh, um, boring it over, um, just cleaning everything up, making it kind of like a fun little just daily driver type truck. Um, my plan is to possibly swap out the rear end and do a dually conversion to it at some point. Um, that would be later on down the road. I'd like to find like a 04 to 07 um, disc brake rear end um, to swap underneath um, and then obviously find a dually bed or the fenders. Um, I'd prefer just to find the bed because this one's kind of rotted out and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and kind of show you guys the inside and kind of just talk a little bit more about what the plans are and uh, yeah. All right guys, so the inside, like I said, we have, it's basically the exact same truck uh, when I owned it the first time. Um, it does have the power door lock and dual power mirrors, which is fantastic. I'm gonna keep, try and keep this truck as original as possible on like the interior and stuff. Um, we'll definitely be doing um, floor pans at some point. They kind of half-assed in some rockers here um, and some cab corners. They just basically uh, riveted those on. But like I said, guys, we have oodles and oodles of parts. We have AC Delco new glow plugs. Um, we have a new water pump, um, a bunch of new Felpro gaskets. We have valve cover, um, new valve cover gaskets, and also a set of valve covers over there. Uh, but like I said, everything is basically the same other than he broke or lost the key to the ignition. So I got to do a new, put a new ignition in there. No big deal. Um, like I said, we're going to try and keep this as original as possible, come through, kind of clean everything up. Obviously, this isn't going to happen all at one time. I think the first stage will be getting the motor running and driving or running. Um, I'm going to pull the trans. It's got a turbo 400. We'll take it and probably have it built, gone through. Just make sure the drive line is good to go. Get everything put back in it. Um, obviously, like I said, we'll do new injectors, glow plugs, head studs, um, HX35. And my plan is to do the um, six, five water pump and serpentine conversion and run the Duramax cooling fan, three core radiator or four core aluminum radiator. Um, and like I said, just make sure this thing is sound before we really start stripping it down and doing obviously the rear axle and different stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update video on it. Like I said, underneath the tarp here, we have, um, two new motors or the original motor, the original trans, we have a spare motor. Um, and all that type of stuff. But uh, like I said, I just want to do a quick update. Um, be on the lookout for hopefully teardown videos here shortly. Um, obviously, kind of once the summer starts winding down, uh, maybe early fall, I'll get an engine stand and get this thing uh, bolted up. Like I said, I, I think the, the plan is to go through the original motor first. Um, make sure everything's good, no cracks, nothing like that. And then like I said, if we need the spare motor, um, we can rob parts off of it and then take it down to Terrence and have him build it. But uh, like I said, I'm going to do the majority of the teardown. That way he doesn't have to worry about it. 
he can kind of just go through the heads, um, clean up the block, and just fl freshen everything up. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, just a quick video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you are excited about this build, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and be on the lookout because uh, it's going to make its return. Remember, learning as I do, doing I love, I'm the GMN. I'll catch you guys in the next one.